and welcome to my channel. I open things on this channel from a variety of artsy things to beauty products to crafty products, you name it. I, I might not do it. There's actually quite a few amount of things that I do, but I do them. I'm aware that if you've opened this, you might just be here for the Artful unboxing, so I'll put the timestamp down in the description so you can get straight to that. However, if you'd like to hear me do a bit of yammering on about things, then please keep resuming. Like with Paper Gang, if you know uh, of Artful and Paper Gang, they're both under the branch of Oh Dear. Uh, Artful also sent me a deal where they were going to give me a whole year's worth of stuff for £120, which in hindsight actually is quite a lot of money, but it was a saving, I think, of like 40 to £50, pounds. I can't remember. And there's a chance that they've changed the way they do things anyway. So if you want to understand the pricing properly for this, I will put the link for the website in the description. Uh, however, yes, I believe that, I believe they're usually about £40 every quarter. Um, and each quarter they send you what they're now calling an art school in a box. Every quarter you get a different theme. It's usually, I would say, it, well, in my limited knowledge of art, more specific than this so I know the last one was like a clay you know they've had they've had coloring they've had gouache they've had uh brr, pastels so it's been like a thing and usually it's like a real in-depth dive into that one thing whereas this is mixed media which I'm finding quite vague and I'm feeling a bit suspicious I'm hoping I'm wrong but I feel a slightly suspicious that it's like products that they like already have that they just kind of wanted to give away because it doesn't seem really specific it's like I've seen these paint pots on the website usually on the sale they've just got some like pencils and the yeah so we're gonna see we're gonna see but that's my my worry this is our box it's quite chunky if you're interested in scanning this then please go ahead <laughs> boom Ta -da. The other thing to mention actually is what they do if you do sign up for like a yearly deal or something, uh, if you don't like the look of the upcoming box you can actually choose an old one, which I wonder if I'm going to wish I did that for this, but we shall see. Uh, so we've got our little slip here. So already to me this isn't like, usually you open an artful box in the presentation, it's quite like, quite stunning. Whereas this feels already a bit lazy. I'm quite worried about this one, you know. Okay, right. Let's let's give it a chance. So, so I think the thing I said about the acrylic pots, I think they are already, I'm worried that everything here is already in existence. Usually with Artful, I think they create something new for the box and create the product and play around with it. Whereas I'm a bit worried this is just existing stuff that's thrown together. But we're going to see, I suppose. Maybe the magazine will tell me more as well. But let's have a look. So we've got... A black pot, which is 100 mil. We've got blue, and these are all acrylic by the looks of it. We've got red, and we've got yellow. So black and all the primary colours. I'm surprised it's not a white though. To get the full spectrum. Uh, you always get four greeting card, like blank ones so that you can make your own cards. Ooh. Ooh. a very bright I don't know if that's coming across on the camera how bright that is but it's a neon a neon pink Ooh, what do I use that for no idea maybe it will teach me something but it's acrylic ink and we have masking fluid 30ml and the acrylic ink was also 30ml See, this is my other suspicion. Can you, I don't know if you can see on the camera, look how dusty they are. Surely that's just stuff they've just had for a while now. Oh, I don't want to be negative. Um, right. Brilliant. Uh, oh, there is some more under here. God, it just feels so whacked together though, doesn't it? Like, don't you think that usually like these colouring pencils would be in like a cute little pouch or something? Like, this one's just completely... But okay, uh, we've got mixed media pad, 300 GSM, so that should be pretty thick, decent quality, which is good. I like to see that. Um, and yes, I mentioned we've got these 
colouring crayons that have just kind of been slabbed in with no pouch. And they, don't, they haven't given me a sharpener, so I'm going to have to go and find one if I want to test this out. Uh, fairy, Buttercup, that one says Lemon Yellow, Emerald, Redwood and Sapphire. I wonder if there's some logic to the colours they've picked, seems as there's quite a small amount of them. Okay, here we also have a pencil, a 4H. Mm, oh, we've got two paintbrushes. It's an 11 that's kind of a flathead one. And a two, a grounded one. Let's see that. What's this? Uh, this is, I don't know, some brown paper. And then, oh, they've made sure they've put in some advertisements, which, boo. I mean, if you really want the uh, small, there you go. Oh, is this smaller? That feels smaller. I'd have to get an old, I'm going to get an old one to check. Okay, so I've grabbed the one from the studio markers and it is smaller. Not like loads, but it is noticeably enough so. I opened it and can tell. Let's look at the thickness difference as well. Mm. And well, how many page numbers I wonder. So this one, this one goes to 112. This is the new one. And the, yeah, this also goes to 112. So in theory, we shouldn't be missing out on content. It's just a bit smaller. Yeah, so I'm going to move this out the way. So I'm really hoping to be enlightened with this now, because so far it really feels like they've tried to get away with, say, mixed media, and it's just random crap they had. <laughs> so, ooh, what's this? Another advertisement? Oh, I don't know what this is. This has just fallen out. I guess it's not an advertisement, it's just kind of like an artsy mag, I suppose. Hmm, that's cool. You could use this for, you could definitely use this for collaging or paper to make cards with. I wonder if that's the intention. I like it, either way. I wouldn't mind if they started adding that. Um, the magazine. The magazine itself. Let's see. So, we've got a description of what Artful is. I'm really curious what they've put here. So, mixed media. Simply put, mixed media is a technique in the act of combining two or more different materials to create a piece of artwork. The art process allows for a wide range of creative possibilities as you can experiment with different textures, colours and techniques to create one, one of a kind piece of art. One of the main advantages of mixed media is it allows for greater freedom of expression. We've picked a broad variety of materials for this reason. They are all versatile materials that work together in different ways. With this box, you aren't limited to just using the materials included in your box. By using found objects like materials, cardboard, paper and more, you can add another variety of experimentation to your artwork. We've included a textured photograph and pattern zine at the end of this issue of the magazine. This will give you a head start on some of the interesting found imagery. However, you can always use anything from newspapers or magazines that you already have in the house. Right, okay, so that's what this is. So this seems specific to this one. I think my sense is so far that I would have just maybe quite liked an acrylic box and then them say, you know, from the colouring box you got in the past or the pastel box you got in the past, you can do mixed media stuff maybe. But we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I will change my mind by the end of this flick through. So, let's see if we can, uh... so we've got some tutorials, a brief history of mixed media. So yeah, I guess they'll talk about like collaging kind of things there. We'll read it more another time. And then we've got the material. Okay, so interestingly, they've removed the prices. So usually here, you could, they put the prizes in so you could get a sense of how much worth you've got. They seem to have completely removed that. Is that because the value isn't there so much or because it seems a bit odd to do that, doesn't it? If you always do that to make a point of how much worth you're getting, it feels a bit weird to remove that to me. Uh, but yeah, it just confirms everything I've just opened there. Suspicious. We've got a bit more about the materials. 
the pencils, soft waterproof leads. Are they like special pencils of any type? Oil based. Green. Oh. Keep your pencils nice and sharp, or don't just throw them in the box so they break, please. Uh, swatch everything. Clean your pots. Take a photo. Technique. So we've got watering down the acrylic, layering up, underpainting, relief mark making. We've got an interview. That's cool. I like that. That's also very cool. More interviews. I wonder if I've even done an upgrade kit for this one. I don't even know what it would be. I don't know if they're still doing the upgrade kits, actually. I haven't seen one in a while. More interviews. As you can see, it's a very comprehensive magazine that's worth having a read through. I'm hoping that the tutorials that come up are actually kind of involving the exact materials we have. More interviews. Mm. That's pretty. A cat in a bush. So it's telling us we need to sketch it out. Make the textures. Cut things out. Okay. This is cute. Hmm. Is this... Is it just... Okay. So the tutorials are like collage. I know how to cut things out. And I think the point, the fun of collage is to kind of just go with the flow, not to kind of copy one. Oh, so this is what you use the masking stuff for, is it? I know, because that's masking tape. Tape somewhere, it tells me a bit about how to use the masking fluid. Hmm... See, some of these tutorials are like stuff that hasn't even... I uh, don't know how I feel about this. Alright. So I think what I normally quite like about these boxes is I do get a feeling of I'm going to learn something from this. And it feels... I mean, I haven't read the magazine yet, so maybe that will change. But it doesn't feel like I'm going to like get a skill at the end of this. It feels a bit like it's like, you can collage, which... Yeah. Okay. But it's, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. But nonetheless, let's do some swatching. The colouring pencils. Curious to see if water does anything to these at all. Not really. No. So also does nothing to these. They are really just six colouring pencils. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, that is quite satisfying.
wrong pair. So I've just kind of given all the acrylics a swatch and the little mixy, mixy up to see how they blend together. Put with the acrylic ink because I have no idea what I'm doing with that, but that gives you a little, you saw what I did with that, it gives you a little idea of what that does. So I mean, they seem, you know, they seem nice as always. They seem nice quality. I just, I just don't know how I feel. Pencil, I don't know what a pencil looks like. I don't know how I feel. I think, I think potentially I wish that I swapped it out actually. I think when I saw mixed media, I was like, oh, interesting. And now it's come, I'm like, this isn't that interesting. Actually, I have acrylic paints. I have colouring pencils. Or even, you know, if, I, if I'd thought about it in time, I probably would have switched out for the, the colouring crayon one that they did months ago. Just to have something a bit more comprehensive. I feel like it's just a bit bitty. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to say it's mixed media. But it feels a bit, feels lazy to me. I think that's how I feel. And it's a shame because it's one of my first actual like proper surprise ones and I was hoping for something that felt a bit more comprehensive. But that being said, you know, they're all stuff I'll use. I still don't know what this is. If anyone does know, let me know, but I will give it a good Google otherwise. I don't know what mask and fluid is, but I don't know how you'd use it artistically. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I feel a bit disappointed, but also acknowledge that I will use this stuff so not all lost um and at least I didn't pay full price for it there is that so yeah that's that's me for today but please let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts down in the comment let me know if you got this box whether you normally do whether you skipped it I think I'm a bit disappointed I think it would get a low rating from me however you know I haven't had the chance to properly play around with it yet but I think the difference for me is usually when I open an artful box I'm quite excited from opening it to go and use it. Whereas this, I don't feel like it's full enough to feel that way. That's just how I feel. But yeah, love to know your thoughts. But for now, have a fantastic day wherever you are and goodbye. Mm -hmm.